What's up, Odooers, and welcome back. In this video, we're going to explore the fundamentals of Odoo's quality application, a tool designed to help you systematically manage quality across your business operations. As Stealthywood scales up production, the complexity of our products increases, leading to a higher risk of errors. Imagine a batch of our desks shipped with scratched surfaces or an unhappy customer's item is returned with no documentation of what's wrong. Without a robust system, quality control becomes reactive rather than proactive. Poor quality control ultimately leads to unhappy customers, increased costs, and just a waste of materials. What's often missing is a way to embed quality assurance directly into your workflows. From manufacturing and receipts to returns and transfers, ensuring quality checks happen before issues reach the customer. The Quality app allows us to track the root cause of issues, trigger quality checks automatically, create alerts when issues are found, and monitor compliance over time. It integrates with other apps like manufacturing, inventory, and repair to ensure products and operations are running smoothly and issues are resolved before they cause problems for customers. Now that we understand what the Quality app is, let's explore how it works. To do that, we'll see how Stealthywood uses quality checks. But first, we'll cover some key concepts and terms. The first kind of quality control inspection is a quality check. A quality check is a manual inspection to ensure the product meets specifications and has no defects. We have a quality check at our receiving dock for all raw materials. Our employees visually inspect the material to ensure there are no issues with them. Quality checks can be conducted at any stage of the manufacturing and inventory process with any specific directions for the check. The type of check determines the actions an employee must take during the inspection. So first, let's look at pass-fail quality checks. This is the most common and easiest to understand. The employee is presented with specific criteria and based on that information, determines whether the product passes or fails the check. We have a pass-fail quality check for our office chairs. They're tested to ensure that all casters run smoothly. If they don't, they fail. Simple as that. Next is the take a picture type. This check is also pretty straightforward. Employees simply need to take and upload a photo of the product in the current state. The check can then be used to prove the product's condition upon arrival or to confirm the specific manufacturing step was completed. Regardless of the reason, this check requires an image upload, making it excellent for capturing visual evidence. Then we have the measurement check. Here, products are tested against specific specifications. This can include dimensions, weight, or even something as precise as the torque on a bolt. For instance, we can check the height of a finished table or the depth of a desk drawer. And when configuring the initial check, a tolerance is provided and anything outside that tolerance is considered a failure. The last two we'll cover today are the spreadsheet and worksheet checks. Both involve completing documentation before moving on with different success conditions. For the spreadsheet check, you can identify a success cell. If the cell's value is true, then that passes the check. For a worksheet check, you can customize many more success conditions. This option is excellent for featuring several checks within a single step. So now that we've configured the checks, let's talk about how we incorporate them into our workflow. This is where quality control points or QCPs for my acronym lovers come in. Quality control points or QCPs are checkpoints where a quality check is triggered. QCPs help standardize quality practices because they ensure that the checks are being performed at regular intervals. For example, we may configure a take a picture check when we receive items into our warehouse, then perform a measure check during the manufacturing process to confirm that the dimensions of a product are correct. It's important to note that if a QCP is not configured, the quality check will not automatically be triggered. Now let's discuss quality alerts. If a product fails a quality check, you'll need to notify the relevant teams, right? This is where you create a quality alert. Quality alerts are used to notify quality teams of product defects or other issues. They can be created directly from a manufacturing or inventory order, from a work order, in the shop floor module, or within the quality app itself. When creating a quality alert, employees also suggest corrective actions how to fix the current issue and preventative actions to ensure this issue doesn't occur again. Not only does this assist with managing quality assurance issues, but it's also providing an opportunity for employees to contribute directly to the improvement process. 
After all, who knows better than someone directly involved in the process doing it every day. Speaking of teams, let's discuss quality teams. Similar to sales or support teams, the quality app allows you to create dedicated quality teams to handle various quality checks. Different teams can be assigned an email alias for notifications and can be configured to manage specific alerts as necessary. So why does this all matter? Quality control saves time by standardizing inspections and providing detailed instructions, ensuring all team members know exactly what to look for. It promotes accountability and traceability, as well as checks can be tracked and reported. When responsibilities are clear, it's easier to achieve your goals. So what's the bottom line? A solid quality control system helps businesses maintain high standards as they grow. Now, I know we've covered a lot today, but be sure to return for more tutorials where we'll dig deeper into the quality app, see how it integrates with other applications and workflows. But until next time, I'll see you later, Odoers.